For the American release of the Scottish-made film, much of the dialogue had to be overdubbed with softer Scottish accents in order to help U.S. audiences be able to understand the dialogue. And a little confession here for that scene near the end where Gregory and Susan are kissing, the man who wrote and directed the movie Bill Forsyth had plied the two young actors, John Gordon Sinclair and Claire Grogan, with booze. <laughs> two actors, both of them 19, were having a lot of trouble with the scene, mainly because, as it turned out in real life, neither was attracted to the other. Not at all. And by the way, a full 18 years later, Bill Forsyth made a sequel to Gregory's Girl, a movie called Gregory's Two Girls. It was released in 1999. At that time, Gregory was again played by John Gordon Sinclair, and Gregory was now in his mid-30s and become an English teacher in his old school and was still having problems with the opposite sex. But there was no Susan around anymore, but any number of other women, but two of them especially. Up next, a true story with great credentials. It stars our Anthony Hopkins and Bancroft and John Hurt. David Lynch wrote it and directed it. And Mel Brooks, without putting his name on it, produced the movie. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, John Hurt portrays the tribulations of the Elephant Man. Then a young man must use magical powers to evade his evil father in Yilin. And it's the TCM premiere of the story of film Chapter 12, movie making and protest around the world.